Today we're going to try to finish making our fish. This one's been fired, but I've added lips and eyes and fins to it. And so we started with a pinch pot and then all we did was just kind of give it a tap and that kind of makes it a little more mouth shape. You can even kind of form it like this, um, but just so it's going to be able to sit on its side. You can also kind of roll it a little bit so that it extends out longer. So now he's a little more bell shaped. And I've sat it in a bag so it's leather hard so it'll sit pretty nicely. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make some lips for this. So I'm going to just take this little bitty piece of clay, it doesn't have to be very big at all, and just kind of squeeze it and turn it until I've got this. And I'm going to make a coil, I'm going to have my fingers spread apart and just kind of run my fingers back and forth across this just my fingertips until I have a nice thin coil all right and that will be what I can use for my lips on there you can see on this one here I have the upper lips like that so um, when I look on here I think I can use most of that uh, and we can always wad that up and use it for something else if we don't use it. Um, so I'm going to take, I think I'm going to take about this much off. I'm going to fold it here. I want to make it have an upper lip like this. Okay, I'm just going to kind of form this first. And then I got to take my fork and score the edge of the top lip here. And I'm going to score my coil where it's going to touch. Then I'm going to take some slip and I'm going to put that along this upper lip here. So then with my finger inside, I've got two fingers here, I'm going to push this on here just ever so slightly. And then I can take another tool like this and I'm going to push on this here and kind of guide this up and you'll be able to see that I've erased the line. You can also take a finger and do that. I just found since my fingers are wet that it's easier to do that if I have the tool. So as long as it's bonded in there with on one side, I'm not too worried that it's got that line there. I've made that kind of part of the thing here. I'm going to go ahead and just leave the bottom lip as it is, but this will kind of reinforce the edge of my fish. Okay? So now he's got that mouth there. Alright, so then I can take these, I've got a little piece left, right, and just kind of roll it around on the table. And I'll make another one. These are going to be the eyes. Just make a little sphere. And then I'm going to kind of press it flat so it turns into that almost like a donut shape with no donut, with no hole, right? And I'm going to put that somewhere on my fish. So maybe I have it on here on the side, maybe I have it up here. Um, I'm going to once again score and score where I want it to go. I'm going to go ahead and just score the whole back of this here. And I'm putting my fingers inside so that will not crush. So I'm going to press this down on here. That should be okay. I'll just once again smash this down so I have that donut. Maybe this is one of those cream filled donuts. It doesn't have the hole in it. 